When it comes to the offense, I can shoot and pass. And just like a minute, man, yo, that D won't last. When I step up to the three, man, you best guard me, cause I deserve it 99 like my man KD. Yo, it's king. <laughs> What's good to all my OGs, OHD, OHead gamers, and my Royal Rebels? Hope y'all having a great day. Hope y'all having a great week. And continue to have a great day and a great week. And have a great weekend as well. You know it's all positive vibes over here. So 2K put out some of the player ratings. And that's what I want to talk about today. Let's see who we agree with. I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. I want y'all to tell me in the comments how y'all feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Whether you agree with the rating, whether you think it should be higher or lower, let me know. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's have a whole conversation because you know I'm going to be in the comments. You know what I'm saying? I need more comments. I need some feedback. I'm trying to have a conversation with somebody. Talk some talk some smack. You know what I'm saying? Get into some some, some debates. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we could even collaborate to talk about something on a video. I don't even care if you a YouTuber or not, bro. We collab just to talk. You know what I'm saying? But let's talk about these player ratings. So first, I'm going to start off with one that probably a lot of y'all not going to be too abreast with. Because uh, not enough of you look at the WNBA. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this. Y'all need not sleep on the WNBA. I feel like the WNBA is pure skill, bro. Like, skill and fundamental. If you really enjoy looking at skill and fundamental basketball... You should look at the WNBA. My team is the Mystics. I'm from DC. Of course, I'm a Mystics fan. That also makes me a Wizards fan. No matter what, I am a fan. You know what I'm saying? And I'm always very proud of my girls. But we talking about Candace Parker, the one who graced the cover of one of the versions of this upcoming year, 2K22. She is rated at a 93. Now, if you watch the WNBA, you know what I'm saying? I would really appreciate if maybe some of the ladies who, who may be indulged in the WNBA would comment as well. But uh, I agree with this. I agree with this. If this was maybe a couple years back, I would say her rating should be higher. But she is, she's getting older. She's getting a slight um, decline I, based off the last year. I wouldn't put her higher, but she she's still uh, an amazing, great player. So I think a 93 is is very fair, uh, and she has had an incredible career, man. If you just if you don't watch WBA, you don't get a chance. And I think your curiosity should be piqued though why she's on the cover. You should go look at some highlights, of Candace Barker. Like she is. She was mentored by Les Lisa Leslie. And if you know anything about Lisa Leslie, that should right that right there should let you know. She used to be teammates with on the Sparks with Lisa Leslie. So that should let you know right there. She's worth giving a, a highlight look at least. You know what I'm saying? I will go back and look at some of the highlights if you don't understand why she graced the cover and why she is a 93. So I I want to agree with this one. Another one of my guys, a great rapper. And one of the best ballers, one of my favorite players. I love my guards. My man, Damian Lillard. Dame Dollar. My man, Dame Dollar. I don't agree. I don't agree, uh, 2K. Once again, we're going back to the contrast. I don't agree. Now, they didn't they didn't do him dirty. I'm not gonna say they did him dirty. He had 94. 94. I'm not gonna say they did him dirty. But I believe Dane should be no less than a 95, and I would have had him at a 96. 96. Like I said, none of, none of my predictions are really off, off. Like none of, I mean, none of my, you know, feelings about it are really that much. Off. I don't feel like they did anybody really dirty. Uh, I don't think. 
we'll see as I go through. But I I, I feel like uh, Dame should be about a 96. And if I feel like Dame should be a 96, when we get lower, you're going you gonna to see I feel some type of way about some of the other ones too. And they felt some type of way too. But Dame should be a 96 in my opinion. No less. I'm not even going to go too far into it. Dame, like, look, look at it, all his abilities. Like, the only thing you can really ping Dame on is defense. That's it. And, and he's not a bad defender. Uh, he's not a great one either, though. So, I, I, 96, because he's that good at everything else. He's just, he's that good. All the shoot. Think about the attributes. Shooting. Dame is out the, out the window. Uh, finishing. Dame is pretty damn good for his size and everything. Finishing at the rim, like... He's the play shot build. I built my play shot based off of Damian Lillard because he's good at finishing at the rim. Granted, I'm a little shorter than Damian Lillard um, at my play. My play was six feet. Damian, I think, is six three. So, is he six three? Might be a little short, six three. But either way, we're really good at finishing at the rim. Not a like a dunk on you tight. You know what I'm saying? Like posterizer type shit. But you know. He's really good at finishing the rim, really good at shooting, really good at playmaking. Like, Dane deserves better, you know what I'm saying? But 94 to 96 makes a difference because you think about when you go into the rack, 95 and up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can get in there 90, it's really 93 and up, but the 95 is when it makes a difference. That means you maxed out. Think Dane maxed out, man. That man deserves at least a 96. Now, this one right here, I semi agree with. Um, the only the reason I say semi agree with is because they have Giannis at 96. I'm talking about Giannis. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Say the name right. Antetokounmpo. The man's name is Giannis Antetokounmpo. At this point, you gotta know this man's name because poof, he got a ring and did it without, I mean, no stacked up team. You know what I'm saying? He had good players. Now, don't sleep on it. You know what I'm saying? Don't sleep on the players he had on his team. You know what I'm saying? The players on the scene deserve respect, but on his leadership, without building a super team, the man deserves some respect. The most dominant player since Shaq. Somebody said that was a controversial opinion. I don't agree that that's controversial at all. I think it's pure fact. Even Shaq himself even said it. Shaq even gave this man his Superman nickname. That's how factual that is. Like, who else can take that? Joel Embiid? That's the best close you're going to get, and Joel Embiid can't stay healthy. You know what I'm saying? And, and and he's no... I don't think Joel Embiid is, is as dominant as Giannis. Now, it's no... Get in some context. Dominant and skill are two different things. Joel Embiid might be more skilled because he can shoot stuff like... You know, that's all nice. You know what I'm saying? But Giannis is dominant. He's literally a player that will impose, impose his will on your team. You can't do much but build the wall. And even that... It's like a wrecking ball. He's breaking right through it. You know what I'm saying? So, that being said, they got him at a 96. I think he should be at least a 97. Uh, and I say that because I got Damian Lillard at 96, but I feel like y'all just deserve more. It should be a 97. 97. We'll say 97. 97, 98. Once again, man, I feel like I'm turning this into a whole Damian Lillard rant because... The next player is where I feel like Damian Lillard should be, and I consider them to be equal. And I feel like we'll, when we look at one player, we look at one attribute of basketball. And because this person is that great at that attribute, but this person shows more of other attributes, I feel like we decided we're going to go with this one. Because he's just known for this one thing, and he's so great at it. Like, the best in the world. I think y'all can probably figure out who I'm talking about. So, Steph Curry. Once again, I love all these players. Like, I'm a basketball fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I love every single one of these players. Not every player. Every player I'm mentioning. Which is why I'm mentioning them in the video. But, Steph Curry is at a 96. Now, I feel like him and Dame are equals. Because Dame does a little bit more. And he does what Curry does as well. Curry just does what they both do better. Curry's the better shooter. Dame even admitted it. Curry's the better shooter. Curry also takes more shots and doesn't do as much as Dame. You know what I'm saying? But that's not Curry's job. So it's not to say that he can't do it, but we haven't seen it. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like both of them should be a 96. I think they both should be in a 96. So I, 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 I think that 
I gotta disagree. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I agree with Curry being 96, but I, got, I gotta disagree with, you know, the continuous thought that Curry is a better player than Damian Lillard. I think they are literally on the same wavelength, which isn't a bad thing. Um, I think that Curry having a ring makes a lot of people forget, and Curry being on a better team makes a lot of people forget that they are really the same as far as, you know, level. My opinion. Now, this one right here, <laughs> I feel like he do. Uh, maybe it's a little like slight less, but um, if Curry's a 96, then how in the world is KD a 96? We talk about my hometown boy. Because y'all know, you know what I'm saying? I'm from D.C. slash P.T. County, Maryland. You know what I'm saying? You know you can tell it's real when I say Merlin. Because we don't say Maryland. Maryland. No, it's Merlin. My man from C. Pleasant. I used to live down the street from there. I done seen this man play at the parks and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I've got, I mean, before he was anything. I didn't think nothing of it until my boy bought it up to me one day. But anyway, we ain't here to talk about all that. The thing is, KD should be a 98. KD felt like he should be a 99. I feel like nobody should be a 99. I just, I'm just tired of players being 99 and I can't play them in my career, okay? So, <laughs> I'm disagreeing with everybody being a 99. But KD should be a 98. I mean, the thing is, if they had made him a 99, though, I wouldn't be mad at them. I'd be mad that I got to play him in my career and I can't do nothing about it once I make my power forward. Like, I, I already can't do nothing about his ass now. Like, it, it, it pisses me off. Like, you literally can't do nothing with KD. You know what I'm saying? But it's been a while since... 2K's even made a 99. Like, I think the last 99 might have been like, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what year it was. I, I, but it's been a long time since 2K's allowed any player to be a 99. But a 96, though, that's a little disrespectful. He should have been a 98. Hands down, no no debate, bro. He should have been a, at least a 98. At least a 98. Like, you got him, Steph Curry, and other people that's so close. No, 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 no. KD is the next GOAT, bro. The next goal. I'm not saying that off no bias, because right now I feel like LeBron James is still the best player because of IQ. But KD is the best skilled player in the NBA that we have ever seen. Ever. 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 And he's the next goal. He's the next goal. Once he starts building his more overall game, now granted, we don't know because his role has been the same the last few years since with Golden State. His role has been the same. Score us buckets. So... I can't get mad at not seeing him and other things, but his IQ, I don't know if his IQ is as high. Not that it isn't high. His IQ is high as hell, too. But LeBron's is. So I, I put LeBron as far as right now. But this next season, I don't know. I might say KD is better because last season, I, I don't know. And LeBron was there. I'm going to say the best player last year was KD. So I don't know. He might, he might already be there. You know what I'm saying? But... KD's early 98. Even if you go off the attributes, you just go off the attributes alone, bro. Attributes alone. KD is the most well-rounded player in the NBA. He deserves a 98 at least, bro. Y'all dropped the ball now. 96, bro. Y'all disrespectful. And last but not least, we have our cover athlete, Luka Doncic. And he is a 94. Ironically... I feel like they got the cover athlete somewhat right. I'm, I, I don't disagree with this. I don't disagree with it. Uh, I'm okay with it. He's our cover athlete. Uh, he was great last year. Uh, really led his team, but his team was not really coming through, man. I and mean, it was such a shame, but his team did not come through. Uh, you know, certain players that, you know, Porzingis didn't really show up as much as we would like. Tim Hardaway kind of shrunk a little bit at times, and I really like Tim Hardaway. Um, Tim Hardaway Jr. Um, yeah, but Luca came through. He wasn't shooting that well. I think we overestimated his shooting. Uh, but he showed up and gave the Clippers a run for their money. You know what I'm saying? So to do that, and the rest of your players aren't coming up the way you like, yeah, he deserved. He earned that 94. Uh, if we were just going off the season, I probably would have put him at like a 92. Um, but after the playoffs, he has well earned that 94. I don't care where they landed. I don't care the fact that they lost. 
he well earned that 94, man. So congrats to you, Luca, on the cover. Congrats on your success. Congrats on that new contract. They paid some money for that boy. But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, I, yeah, I'm going to agree with that. I didn't agree with all of them, but I agree with this one. So there you have it, man. Those are the ones. There was some more. Uh, I might do another video on some of the top dunks and all that stuff that they had. Like who was the top dunk ratings and shooting ratings and all that and stuff. I might do another video on that if you're interested. Just put it in the comments. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments whether y'all agree or disagree with some of the ratings. Whether you agree or disagree with me. You know, hey, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, let, let, let's talk about it. Let's 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 chop it up. You know what I'm saying? Let me know why you disagree or why you agree. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments, man. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, man. I appreciate y'all giving me a chance, man. Shout out to all to the day ones, man. Cause when we get bigger, man, I, you know, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. But either way, man, I appreciate y'all more than anything. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my OGs, OHG, O-Head Gamers, and my Royal Rebels. I hope y'all have a great day, great week, and a great weekend, man. Y'all enjoy y'all time. Remember. Actually, before I do that real quick, you know what I'm saying? Check the fit real quick. You know what I'm saying? The Dodgers hat with the, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even peep that, man. This the, is the Jackie Robinson. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we, we leaving here. Anyway. Don't sleep on a man fit game. So I be chilling though. I be I be chilling. You know what I'm saying? I do a little thing. Anyway, remember, don't be toxic. Let's ball.